Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State of Tech. So the other day I noticed that my AirPods just were not as loud as I remembered them being. Now, I recently switched over to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and prior to that, my AirPods were connected to my iPhone XS Max. And they seemed pretty loud and, and overall decent on the XS Max, uh, but then when I switched over to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, they were quiet and they just didn't seem to sound as good as they once did. So I thought that I would make this video because if you're having an issue with your AirPods just not being as loud as they should be, there's a couple reasons why this might be happening. Now for me, the fix was running a software update on my iPhone. There's been a couple of software updates since the iPhone uh, 11 Pro series phones came out. Um, and of course this uh, software update is for mul multiple phones, even though I wasn't experiencing this problem on my XS Max after updating to iOS 13. So there had to be something, some weird issue with the iPhone 11 or 11 Pro Max that uh, with the connection of the AirPods, that software update just wasn't allowing the AirPods to be as loud as they should have been. After running that software update, I didn't have a problem. So if you want to know how to run a software update, maybe you're not sure if your uh, phone has been updated to the most recent software, go into your settings app, go under general, and then under general and about is your software updates and you can click software updates and you can see if there's a software update available. Give that a try first. Run that software update because there's actually some really good reasons why you should run these software updates. Apple has made some boo-boos with <laughs> iOS 13 here. And so you want to make sure to be as up to date as possible. At the time of recording this, it is iOS 13.1.1 or 1.1. And that is what you should be on. Of course, uh, there will probably be more software updates in the future. For me, updating to 13.1 fixed the problem. My AirPods were back to normal. Everything was great. Uh, I did not check to see if there were other issues with my AirPods um, and what was causing the problem prior to that. It just so happened that the software update came right at the time when I recognized I was having a problem. Now, there are other reasons why your AirPods might not be functioning as they should. And you can find out what your phone settings are by going into the settings app, scrolling down to music, and then going under volume limit and making sure volume limit is set to off. If you have volume limit set to on by swiping and setting a specific volume limit, you are limiting the volume, the max volume that you're going to be able to get out of those headphones. Also something that could be affecting it is a feature called sound check. Sound check is another feature um, that typically adjusts your audio level uh, initially, so that way you're not getting blasted when you put your headphones back on. This is a feature that tends to be common with a lot of Android phones like Samsung phones, where I always go and put my headphones back on and I have to readjust the audio back to where I want it because it always sound checks it back to a different level. So these are a couple of different things that could be causing issues with your AirPods. Now, if these things do not fix the audio levels of your AirPods, one thing that you can do is completely reset your AirPods back to factory settings and then repair them to your device. Not repair, but repair. Uh, so you're reconnecting them to your phone. That means what you're gonna to need to do is on the button on the back of your AirPods, you press and hold that button for, I believe it's about 10 seconds, the light will start to flash because it puts it back into pairing mode. You wanna make sure that before you do that, you go into your settings app, you go to Bluetooth, and then you'll see your AirPods, you'll click on the little eye in a circle for information um, next to it, and then click on forget device. This is disconnecting your phone from the AirPods and then by pressing and holding the button on the back of the AirPods, you're essentially resetting that connection as well on your AirPods. Then when you go and open up your AirPods again, it will recognize them on your phone and your phone will reconnect to them as if they're a brand new set of AirPods. And that's the process that you're gonna to wanna to go to as kind of a last ditch effort. Now, if all of these things don't seem to fix the problem, you may have an issue with your 
AirPods, which would really be weird that this kind of came out of nowhere. For me, it happened obviously because of the software updates and the software updates fixed it. Sometimes our settings also get messed up, but sometimes our AirPods also can get damaged somehow and some sort of issue there could cause a problem. They're not waterproof, obviously if you wear them to the gym a lot or if they get wet or are exposed to too much, too much moisture, you can have issues there as well. So you may need to actually take them into an Apple store if you have that opportunity at Apple store near you and have them take a look or you may need to contact Apple and uh, and see if you can get them warrantied if you are within your warranty range. On something like AirPods, I always recommend having something like Apple Care or whatever on them so that you have or maybe if you bought them at Best Buy or something having a replacement plan on them. Uh, of course, you don't even have to buy that with your device. There are replacement plans that you can buy for pretty much any piece of technology. I'll link to some that are available down below from Amazon. You can just straight up buy them. Um, and then you just pr prove that you just purchased the technology within a certain time frame. And, uh, and then they, they give you a warranty on it. So interesting stuff there. I hope that if you have problems with your AirPods that one of these things fixed it and it's not a major issue. But if it is a major issue, I recommend just reaching out to Apple and seeing what can be done there. Uh, typically, they're pretty good about warrantying their stuff, except for when there's water damage. So I just, I really hope that there's no water damage to your AirPods because then you're looking at having to buy new AirPods and that's a real bummer. But if you do end up having to buy a new set of headphones, I have some recent headphone videos and ear pod type of videos you may want to check out before going and buying another pair of headphones because there are a lot of great options out there. A lot of Bluetooth headphones and earbuds are getting really good and they definitely there definitely are options out there that sound a lot better than AirPods do. Even though I still believe that AirPods are are really convenient and you just can't beat how convenient they are. So with that said, I hope that this video helped you with some sort of a technical issue you're having. I definitely am enjoying kind of doing some of these tech support videos. So when you share with me down in the comment section below what worked for you or if something didn't work and you ended up finding out another issue, that also helps me just better understand as well because obviously I just have my experiences and the experiences of those that are close to me and I love learning from all of you as well. So click that thumbs up click that subscribe button and I hope to see you back here soon on State of Tech. Take care.